Hey William, thanks for the request. Today we're doing a loaded potato soup. I know I say this about every soup that I make, but I absolutely loved this soup. I just, I love soup so much, I don't discriminate, especially a good creamy soup. And I know from my Roadhouse Roll video that you guys know that I used to work at Roadhouse. And honestly, the only time I'd want to eat soup was when we had our loaded potato soup. So again, William, thank you so much for requesting. This was so much fun to make. Uh, so what we do is we get started with a stock pot. Go ahead and add a knob of butter along with onion, carrots, and garlic. Now don't forget to wash and peel your carrots before shredding them. We're gonna cook those until they're translucent and then we're gonna go ahead and add our chicken broth and potatoes. Now the potatoes are also peeled and diced uh, before adding them into the pot and then we're gonna go in with our seasonings. Now our seasonings are gonna be salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, parsley, and chicken bouillon. I really just use enough of the seasonings to my own personal preference or my own personal taste, uh, but really you can use it as you like or see fit. Always remember as well that the chicken bouillon is gonna add a little bit more saltiness to the soup um, in addition to the salt that you put in. So just be wary of that when seasoning. And speaking of chicken bouillon, if you are a chicken bouillon fanatic like me, but get frustrated about all the sugar and additives in chicken bouillons, I've got some great news for you. And this recipe calls for a little bit of chicken bouillon. So I am using my Side Loop Kitchen chicken bouillon, which is Whole30 paleo and keto compliant. So keep your eyes and ears peeled because this will be going on sale soon and I'll show you where to get it. That's right, after much testing, we have finally released our chicken bouillon to the public. You can find it on our website at sideboobkitchen.com. As I mentioned, it is Whole30 paleo and keto compliant. We did make it with these diets in mind because I knew when I was on Whole30 and I was trying to make some of my Whole30 soups, it was getting really frustrating for me to not be able to find a chicken bouillon that was compliant. So I created this for people like me that really wanna use these seasonings in their diets and not have to sacrifice any of the flavor. Anyway, let's get back to this loaded potato soup. So we put it on the stove and we make sure that it sits for about 45 minutes or until those potatoes are fully cooked. Uh, once they are fully cooked, you can either go in the way that I am with a potato masher. I like to do it this way just because I do like to keep the soup a little bit chunky, um, or you can go in with an immersion blender. It really is your personal preference. I know some people that like their soup, their potato soup to be a little bit more smooth. Like I said, I prefer mine a little more chunky. Uh, so I just use a masher to kind of get the most of it out. And then you're gonna go in with your cheese as well as your milk. I'm using half and half here, but you can use whole milk, heavy cream, really whatever you have on hand. Give that a good mix and let it simmer until it's thickened. So this is probably gonna take you about five to 10 minutes if you have it on like a medium or medium to high heat, and then you can serve it up. Now, in order to make this the most authentic loaded potato soup, we're gonna add on top some sour cream, some shredded cheese, a little of that jalapeno bacon because I can't get enough, and some chives. Now, in hindsight, I realized that I probably should have put the cheese on first and then the sour cream so it looked a little better, but it's okay because we mixed it all in anyway and it tasted absolutely incredible. As always, please like, follow, and subscribe. And if you try this, let me know what you think in the comments. See you next time. You guys know I love soup, so I'm really excited to try this. It should be really good. It is really good. Mm-hmm. 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 Look how cheesy that is. It's so good. Mmm. Mmm. By leaving some of the potatoes chunky, you really get like a little bit of chewy aspect in the soup, but it really does taste like you have every component of a loaded baked potato right in the soup. It's a little bit salty, it's very cheesy, a little bit creamy. The sour cream on top definitely does a lot for it in terms of making it a lot creamier. You get a lot of freshness from those chives and the jalapeno bacon that we put on top is absolutely killer. You don't have to do jalapeno bacon, but I highly recommend it.